scoring fails. Right? We have three minutes. We have three minutes. The first thing that we do in FA is we We explore. Right. Nothing, nothing gets me more mad. Nothing gets me more upset than to watch people fence. The referee says fence. Da 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 boom! And there's two minutes and 57 seconds left on the clock, and there's already a score. Right? Lauren, if you and I never met, right? Right? And we met for the very first time, what would you know about me in three seconds? Nothing. Yet, we're out there trying to hit people with a sword in three seconds or less. Or less. Right? You don't know anything about the guy. The only thing we know about the guy is what we saw when he was hooking up. Make sense? We have three minutes to explore. Three minutes to explore. What is their favorite berry? What is their favorite berry? Kyle, what's your favorite berry? This. How did it work out for me on Saturday? Didn't work out for me on Saturday or not? Right. Because that's what you did, right? Right. Alright. So I did a little exploration and I figured out what I needed to do. Right? So once we explore and we figure out, well, you know what, maybe this will work, right? Then we have to. We have to prepare. We have to prepare. Right? Referee says, Vince, you just can't flesh for four meters of walk, right? I can't. I'm going to make an advance, an advance lunge to this game, right? Everything has to be right, right? Maybe it doesn't, maybe it does not going to work in the middle of the strip. Maybe it has to be at the end of the strip, right? So I have to prepare, all right? I have to visualize myself when we're in this moment. Oh, now's the time to go home, right? Oh, he's a little out of distance. I'm not going to go. It's not right. If it's not right, I can't go. It's better to be zero zero than to push the issue when something's not right and then I get hit. Right? Because zero zero a lot better than minus one, isn't it? Makes sense? So we prepare and we figure out when this happens and this happens, this is when I go. Oh, well, they make this big step. step and I'll be stepping in to my attack. Alright, so I, I've explored and now I prepare. What's the next thing I gotta do, Jack? Exploit. Exploit? Wow. That's for me. Yeah. How about execute? Oh. So I was watching you fence Megan, right? And here you are like this. Right? And I look and I said, well, I'm watching him. I'm exploring and I'm preparing, right? And then that's why I got my camera out so I can show you exactly what you're going to do and exactly what I'm going to do when I'm fencing. Right? And then I would wait and then go and break your home. That's the time I would need to execute. Execute. Dag D. How much for work there? Good. Your name Dag What? Is your name Dag I just said Dag D. How much for work there? That's okay, man. Not good. That's good. You can't hear me. You're old. It's okay. I can't hear you. I just pretend I didn't hear nothing. Dag D. How much for work there? All right. Good. What do you think's next? So we've explored and we've prepared and we executed. Now what? What do you think's next after I've done all that? So you make the egg? No clue? What? Explore again? Nicholas? Expect? Lauren? Experience? Evaluate? I even have those dots here for you. And for me too, so I know. Eval, you, I think I spelled it wrong. Evaluate, right? If I scored the touch, was it good? If I scored the touch, why didn't I score the touch? 
right? That's the count, it's on the ten, right? But if the hopes, he makes the very six, and my point is short. Ah! What happened? I have explored, I've prepared, I've executed, I didn't let the touch, I was two inches short. Right? Two inches short. So I go back. Alright? And I go, I'm exploring again. Right? Do I need to be further down the strip so you can't run away so fast? Right? Do I need to be a little closer to start again so that I get you? Right? Because if you fence in the middle of the strip and you make the attack and the guy is standing at the end line watching your attack, then you know that he's a lot faster than you are, and you're a lot slower, and then you gotta push him to the end of the strip so he can't run away. Right? And the process starts all over again. Right? And then the time I come down, I push him down to the end of the strip, I execute, and I score. Right? I evaluate. But then, back to the top, because I'm gonna probably try to do that same thing again. All while exploring and seeing things. All right? So what's I prepare? All right? Let's talk about preparing for things. Sports psychologists say, visualize. Visualize. You got to visualize yourself being successful. Right? And all of a sudden now that means standing on the podium. Look at me standing on the podium. That's not visualization. That's not visualization, all right? Visualization is, I'm going to make an advanced one to disengage, and I see myself doing it. I'm seeing the back. Boom. I see myself doing it. So that when it's time to execute, your body's ready to go, because your mind has pre-programmed itself to do that. Does that make sense? Right? Charlie, what's your favorite movie? Ah, uh, The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. How many times have you seen The Dark Knight? Like three. That's it, just three? Well, yeah. I was not watching the least. Okay, so you've seen it three times. Uh, you get to the point now where you know what's going to happen before it happens? Mm, well, the second The second. And you know the words that come out of people's mouths? No? Not yet? What's your favorite movie? Yeah. Yeah? All right. How many times have you seen it? I've seen my <laughs> What? Like what have you seen seven times? Can you talk with the talk when they're talking? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you do that the very first time you sat down watching the movie? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I, I got to get a better audience. I got to get a better audience. All right. So you know what's happening. You know what's happening. And that's. This is what you put all this in your mind so that when it happens on the strip, you're ready to rock and roll and go for it. And if it's not right, don't go. If it's not right, don't go. The only time we stick out our arm and go, because we have to go, is when, Daggy? What? Time is running out, and there's five seconds left to go, and I'm down in touch, right? That's all we can do. Right? But we don't do that, we don't usually do that in the beginning of the ball. Right? Unless you've won someone fence five bounce and you've explored them from the sidelines and you say, you know what, if I stick my arm out and run on this person, as soon as the referee says fence, I'm going to hit them because they did it. Right? Because some people do that. The referee says ready fence and they go like this. Right? And if you make the person with the flesh, you'll hit them. Right? But then, if you've already explored them, so that's not really, all right? That's the only time we, we run at someone when time's running out and we're down. All right? You only have to score one touch. One touch more than the opponent, people. It's not a race to five. All right? And if you're real good, it's zero, zero, and time runs out, and you go to overtime, and you win the 20 course, and time runs out again, and you win zero, zero, right? So that, in theory, you can go out there with a broken weapon. Still win it back, in theory. Right? So we won't talk about that. Explore, prepare, execute, evaluate. Explore, prepare, execute, evaluate. Every time we're fencing, I'm exploring. I'm preparing. Let's hear it. Explore. Prepare. Execute. Evaluate. Explore. Prepare. Execute. 